All right, so welcome to Sports Manor. I am in the presence of greatness here, three-time glory lightweight kickboxing champion and the current number two, one featherweight contender. So first of all, welcome to Sports Manor. How are you doing? Hello, everyone. I'm doing well. So getting prepared for, um, for my uh, fight. Amazing, right? So you last competed back in January, which was little more than just two months ago. So taking this fight on a short notice, uh, why take this fight at all? Yes, uh, it was a little bit sh uh, short time, but uh, it's better than nothing, you know. I like it to fight in short times. I would prefer to to know it a little bit, little bit bef before, but uh, here we are, it's nothing. I accept the fight because I really want to fight, so why not? I see. But also, this is against a contender that you have already fought, right? You fought Superborn back in 2018 before your one championship debut, and you fought him again in one championship. Uh, the rematch was a hard-fought battle. Obviously, it did not go your way, but what did you make of his performance, right? And what were your takeaways? Uh, uh, there is not much about to say about that, about that fight. You know, he did a good job. I was on that time very good prepared. Uh, he deserved to, to win. Uh, uh, my body was just uh, not working on that day. It's not an excuse or something. And uh, yeah, I'm just focusing uh, to make everything get perfect, you know. If I uh, recover, recover fast on that day, so I, I have no worries about, about my fight. See, uh, this, this is a thing to notice, right? You've, uh, so to say, you've fallen short on those big matches, right? Whenever you're fighting for a championship. So fighting for the interim gold on short notice, how confident are you? Because last time around, you did not feel like yourself. But uh, this time around, how's your training camp going? Uh, and is the time enough to prepare for a battle like that? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Because I was already sharp. So it's only my body is ready. It's only to prepare in your mind, you know, in your head. On this level, it's very important to get ready in your mind, in your body. Uh, my body is very strong, you know. I just need to uh, to focus uh, with my mindset, you know, because uh, mindset is more important on uh, this level. Talking about levels, right? Do you think Superborn is at your level? Because I have to ask this question, right? Do you think this one goes the distance, or is it going to be another one of your crazy exciting fights, right? It, it only ends unless one of you goes down. Uh, you know, I train so hard, so. I'm really, really sharp, so I don't gonna talk much. I don't gonna say too much. I just, I just wanna show everyone. That's it. This, this, this is about your fighting style, right? Talking about your fighting style, you, you're always pressing forward, always charging, yeah. as if there's no quit in you, right? So, is that part of the game plan, or does this something that comes very naturally to you, right? This, this kind of aggression. Uh, we are doing this, this time a little bit different. And uh, I think every everyone will uh, not notice this, what we what we are doing different this time. So, so it'll be a very exciting fight. That's amazing. I think that's that's something for the fans to look out for. But yeah, yeah. yeah. That I want to ask every fighter, right? And especially someone of your caliber, someone of your fighting style. During those exchanges, right? When you're having these wild exchanges, high octane action, what is going on in your head, right? What are you telling yourself in those moments? How are you, you know, uh, taking uh, in note of the entire situation that is happening? How do you cope with that? Uh, in my head, I'm just uh, sometimes talking with myself. When I get some punches, when they are making some points, I'm just saying in, my, in myself, like, it's, it's at all. I want more. I want more, you know. I want to do more. I want to, to punch harder and, uh, yeah, to get back. That's that's amazing, right? How much does this win mean to you, right? You have already fallen short uh, on two occasions. You have fought the current champion, so not to say that those have those those losses have come against uh, weaker opponents, right? They have come against very formidable opponents, and your last loss is against the current champion. So, what does this mean uh, win mean to you? Not just as a featherweight, but as, as probably arguably one of the best kickboxers today. You know. This division is uh, really one of the best divisions of the world. Uh, I'm just uh, want to be the champion of one championship, so 
it means everything for me. Uh, yeah, it's just a dream that I must to make it a reality. I, I want to live this dream. So this means everything for me. That's incredible, right? So next next week on Friday, if you win, you are going to uh, fight someone that you have already fought, right? Looking back at your last fight, what do you think you are going to bring differently? Uh, should you win, right? Should you unify? Should you fight for the unification belt? What do you think you'll bring differently into that game plan? Having said that, obviously your focus is going to be your super one. But uh, do you think you can beat the champion? Yes, of course, of course. I have all the. Uh, all the good things as as to be a to be a champion and uh i'm just working for uh yeah to improve myself always much more so i'm just focusing for super bond that's now the only goal that i that i have in my in my mind in my head i just need to win to win him that's all what it comes in my mind that's amazing. So I'm I'm pretty sure we can expect another, you know, high octane fight, probably with a little bit of difference that you mentioned, a bit of change. Yeah. Again. But uh, we're all excited. Yeah. For fans who don't know, I also wanted to you know dive deep into your a little bit of your personal life. You were born in Armenia. You moved to Germany. You are you know you are now in uh, Belgium. So if you could tell the fans a little bit about your personal life, your child, and if we can get, you know probably get to know you a little better. Ah uh, yes. Like uh, most of the people, uh, a not good childhood, many hungry days, many hungry days, you know, uh, we're about uh, four children, I'm the youngest one, uh, I'm the only man, I have three sisters, so I told only a vision to to help my parents, to my family, to get a better life in every way to make them happy and uh, i'm uh, working on that to make them always much more happy than normally you know that's really inspiring right how how did this all start this big boxing journey moving all these nations uh, three different nations when did this you know idea come up when did you start practicing kickboxing for the first time how did it all come about uh, you know, I was just, when I was a child, I was always watching the movies of Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, uh, yeah, Jet Li, some, all the, all the movies, you know, and, uh, yes, I, I was so, always kicking, uh, <laughs> the tree with my, with my legs, punching the tree with my hands, and, uh, when, when we moved to Belgium, I had no friends. And uh, there, uh, close by where we live, there was a gym. Actually, I want to go to Kung Fu. Okay. But I went I went to Kung Fu. They didn't allow me because I was too, I don't remember, too young or too, too old for that. I don't know what, 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 what the reason was. So they don't allow me to do that, Kung Fu. But close to my ho home, there was a Thai boxing, kickboxing gym. The name was uh, the Bulldogs. I just start there. I never thought that that, that they're gonna come so far, you know. I just went there for uh, for fun, for to for to make friends, you know. And after one year, uh, uh, I got some fights. Uh, I I didn't know that that I, that you if you train well, you can do some fights, you know. And uh, after I did the fight, I won the fight. I was really obsessed with that, you know, and uh, I, I had some friends in the gym, so it was always fun to train with my friends. Friends. How old but, was your age at this time? Uh, uh, I was ten years old when I started training. It's pretty early. So, yeah, and my first fight, I, I won. My second one, I won. My third one, it was, uh, yeah. It was uh, no no contest like that, and uh, yes, here we are. I never after after watching K1, I was obsessed with uh, kickboxing. I really wanted to be one of the biggest uh, fighters of the world, you know. At that time, it was just a dream, and now here here we are, you know. You did right? everything is reality now. 
Yes, so everything is now reality. So you fought at lightweight, right? Uh, I have to ask you this: If everything goes uh, as you have planned, right, as you have as you have pictured in the featherweight division, is a move to lightweight a possibility in the in the one championship? Uh, everything is possible, but not. I didn't. Uh, we talked already about that with my with my coach, but now the only focus is about uh, super bond. That's all. That's all what goes. Uh, Around in my head. Right, right. Another, like adding uh, another question on top of that, right? MMA. Uh, a lot of kickboxers, a lot of uh, you know combat athletes from other sports are transitioning to MMA while also keeping their kickboxing and Muay Thai in contact, right, and intact. So, is that something that you also plan to do? Switch to mixed martial arts and uh, continue being a kickboxer? Uh, yes, we 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 train a little bit martial arts, you know, MMA. But my focus is only my focus is only on the kickboxing. You know, I love kickboxing. It's more fun for me. I didn't like MMA, but yes, uh, you never know what's gonna happen. That's amazing. Uh, you know, that's all. Uh, I had a set of questions before we end this up. Uh, I wanted to ask this uh, one question, right? An Armenian fighter is fighting on UFC 300. Arman Sarukwan, Sarukyan. Have you trained with him? And uh, what are your thoughts on that matchup? Yes, of course. He's a friend of me. We train in Phuket. And uh, uh, he's a good fighter. He's a complete fighter. He's really good on the ground, standing also. I like him as a fighter, as a person. He, he lives only for sport. He's doing everything for the sport. I hope he, he beats Oliveira, you know, because he has all the... Uh, possibilities to to be the champion, you know, but uh, with the fight with Islam, it was a very close fight, you know. But Islam improved this le last years a lot. But he also, uh, I think, with Oliveira, it's, it's a good test for to see everyone where he is, where he level is. So I wish him only the best. But as a as a friend, sorry, as a friend, as as someone you have, you know who has trained with him, uh, we have always talked about Arman's grappling. Right, and considering it, yeah, think of his striking, his kickboxing ability. Right? Yes, yes, yes. He's also trying to improve his kickboxing uh, ability to much more to get better in kickboxing a little bit or tie boxing. But yes, on the ground, uh, yes, uh, we, uh, he takes me so down very easy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, standing is different. Yeah. Thank, thanks for your thoughts, uh, Marat. And uh, thanks yes. for your time and your thoughts on the next matchup. Yes. I wish you all the Thank best. You. Hopefully, you know, we'll contact once again, we'll connect once again for another conversation after you win. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the support and love. Of course, I love you.